CDL School Bus Practice Test 1 25 Questions Question 1. What should you do if you have lost ABS control at one or more wheels? Drive faster so your ABS yellow malfunction lamp will go out. Drive normally because you still have regular brakes but have the system serviced soon. Call dispatch to report the problem. The correct answer is Drive normally because you still have regular brakes but have the system serviced soon. Question 2 what is the most important reason for doing a school bus inspection? To give the mechanic something to do. For safety required by federal, state and local laws. To assist the principal with their report. The correct answer is. For safety required by federal, state and local laws. Question 3. You should adjust all the outside left and right side convex mirrors to see 200 feet behind the bus. The right and left front tires touching the ground. The entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. The correct answer is the entire area to the rear of the mirror along the side of the bus. Question 4. The blind spot behind the bus could extend to how many feet? 400 200 100 The correct answer is 400 Question 5. You should adjust all the outside left and right side flat mirrors to see 200 feet behind the bus. The rear right and left tires touching the ground. Both of the above. The correct answer is both of the above. Question 6. At bus stops where more than one child is unloaded, which procedure most likely prevents an unloading obstacle? The driver counts the students as they disembark before moving. The students cross the street one at a time, not as a group. The driver ensures the students are seated in the bus before leaving the stop. The correct answer is the driver counts the students as they disembark before moving. Question 7. When should you activate your alternating flashing amber warning lights? 300 to 500 feet before school bus stop. Only if there's immediate danger. 100 to 300 feet before school bus stop. The correct answer is 100 to 300 feet before school bus stop. Question 8. At a railroad crossing, the bus is required to stop at the stop line. If there is no clearly marked stop line, what is the required minimum and maximum stopping distance? No closer than 15 feet and no further than 30 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. No closer than 15 feet and no further than 50 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. No closer than 10 feet and no further than 40 feet, where you have the best view of the tracks. The correct answer is No closer than 15 feet and no further than 50 feet where you have the best view of the tracks. Question 9. If students must cross the street, when they get off the bus, which statement is true? For crossing, 
students should make eye contact with the bus driver and wait for the driver's signal that it is safe to proceed. When the driver signals that it is safe to proceed, the students must run across the street to reduce the exposure to danger. If the bus is equipped with the crossing gate, the danger of running over the child is eliminated. The correct answer is For crossing, students should make eye contact with the bus driver and wait for the driver's signal that it is safe to proceed. Question 10 when stopping on a railroad crossing the driver must stop no closer than 15 feet 10 feet 20 feet The correct answer is 15 feet Question 11 By law, the warning lights must only be used when approaching a Stop to load or unload students. Busy intersection. Sharp turns. The correct answer is Stop to load or unload students. Question 12 When approaching a school bus stop, you should activate your overhead amber light. How far from the bus stop? 200 feet, 300 feet, 100 feet. The correct answer is 200 feet. Question 13. If the gate comes down as you start to cross the railroad highway crossing you should stop immediately and call your dispatcher. Drive through the gate. Back up until you are completely off the tracks. The correct answer is Drive through the gate. Question 14 The driver must make sure that All emergency exits are not damaged, operate smoothly, and close securely from the inside. Emergency exit warning devices if present, are working. All of the above. The correct answer is All of the above. Question 15 Andy lock brakes. Keep your wheels from locking during hard brake application. Work only when you activate in cab switch. Short and stopping distance. The correct answer is Keep your wheels from locking during hard brake application. Question 16 Overhead inside mirror is used to Monitor traffic that approaches and enters the blind spot area. See the blind spot immediately behind the bus. See all of the students. The correct answer is See all of the students. Question 17 Passive Railway Crossing The type of crossing, which does not have any type of traffic control device. The type of crossing on which the driver does not have to stop. The type of crossing with no cross buck sign. The correct answer is The type of crossing, which does not have any type of traffic control device. Question 18 Immediately after stopping you should first Get the children onto the bus as quickly as possible. Activate alternating red lights and ensure stop harm is extended. Activate alternating amber lights. The correct answer is Activate alternating red lights and ensure stop harm is extended. 
Question 19. How should you brake in a bus with ABS brakes? Apply the brakes and back off the brakes prior to the final brake to stop. Apply the brakes as usual. Pump the brakes in an emergency situation. The correct answer is Apply the brakes as usual. Question 20. The CDL manual indicates the last step on picking up students at the bus stop is as follows. Make a final check to confirm all traffic stops before opening the bus door and signaling students to approach. Place transmission in park or neutral and set parking brake. Open the service door just enough to activate the alternating red light when traffic is in a safe distance from the bus. The correct answer is Make a final check to confirm all traffic stops before opening the bus door and signaling students to approach. Question 21 if you are loading students on the route and cannot account for them, secure the bus, take the key and check around and underneath the bus. Secure the bus and adjust the mirrors. Ask other students if they saw missing persons. The correct answer is Secure the bus, take the key and check around and underneath the bus. Question 22. You should activate hazard lights within approximately how many feet before railroad crossing? 200 feet. 300 feet. 400 feet. The correct answer is 200 feet. Question 23. Which of the following is a reason to evacuate the school bus? The bus is stalled on the shoulder of a four-lane divided highway and it is getting hot inside. The bus is stalled on a railroad track, but there is no train in sight. The bus ABS warning light is on. The correct answer is the bus is stalled on a railroad track, but there is no train in sight. Question 24. Which following statement best explains what to do when a school bus is stalled on a track at a railroad crossing? Driver should evacuate the bus and have students in a group directly behind the bus. Driver should evacuate the bus and move students away from the tracks on the angle toward the oncoming train. Driver should keep everyone quiet and call dispatcher for directions. The correct answer is Driver should evacuate the bus and move students away from the tracks on the angle toward the oncoming train. Question 25 before crossing any highway rail crossings in the school bus, be sure the bus has enough containment to completely clear the railroad tracks. As a general rule, how much space is considered an acceptable amount of containment for a school bus? The length of the bus plus 10 feet. The length of the bus plus 15 feet. The length of the bus plus 25 feet. The correct answer is The length of the bus plus 15 feet. Thanks for watching.